Hey guys, and welcome to another one of our Week With Reviews. This time it's the pleasure of the Nokia 3310, the new version of the Nokia 3310, not that nostalgic phone you remember from 2000, but a reworking of that phone by HMD Global. So I've been using this for a week. Switching back to a feature phone has been quite a daunting task, especially when you see the spec list. So let's have a look and see how I got on for a whole week with the Nokia 3310. Hey guys, it's Monday night and I have just landed in Berlin and I'm about to switch over from the OnePlus 3T, which I've been using for the last few weeks, over to the Nokia 3310. So earlier I wanted to swap to the Nokia 3310, but I kind of forgot I've got a nano SIM, so I needed to find a micro SIM adapter to uh, be able to switch over to this phone. So in a moment I'm going to use a SIM tool, get my SIM out of the OnePlus 3T and switch over to this. Not many feature phones use nano SIM, they're still mostly on micro SIM. Let's start this bad boy up. Nokia 3310 for a week, let's do this. So, there we have it, there's that beautiful Nokia sound. 1242 on the 1st of October 2015. That's not true, uh, but the signal has popped in, even though I'm in a foreign country. Uh, I'm in Germany at the moment, so that is still working while I'm over here. That's a 2.4 inch screen right there. Not the best resolution, but it still looks actually quite bright and beautiful considering this is a feature phone. I've had it in my pocket uh, on the way here and it's felt really comfortable. The size of this phone means that you'll be able to throw it in your pocket and not even notice it ha is in there. I'm probably not gonna have any numbers ported over to the phone, but let's take a quick look to see what has happened there. No, no contacts. If you decide to switch to this phone or you decide to use it for going to festivals or anything like that, it would be a really good idea to save your contacts, sorry, to your SIM card so you can just pull them over straight away. So that's the Nokia 3310 set up. As I've already said, I'm a little bit nervous about the next week coming up, but I'm still excited. It's the brand new, it's the Nokia 3310. Like it's gotta be exciting. Uh, I can't wait for it to ring for the first time. That's the really exciting thing that's gonna be coming up. So let's see how the next six days go. So the whole aim of day two was to look at browsing on the Nokia 3310. You get 2.5G internet, so you're not gonna get the best browsing experience on this phone. And so uh, Sir Roger Moore died, the James Bond actor, and I'm quite a big fan of James Bond, so I kind of wanted to know the news straight away. Uh, it wasn't as instantaneous as being able to jump onto Twitter and write in his name, or being able to just even just go to Google there's the Opera operating system logo. And we have a few different links here. There's Facebook, there's Nokia phones, there's Nokia 150. Not particularly useful bookmarks that Nokia have put in. That's quite irritating in my opinion. There's Google search. If I want to search Roger Moore's name, that's gonna take me quite a while though for typing. So I went all the way down to BBC News and had a look there. Let's see how long that takes to connect. And it's not a particularly enjoyable experience to uh, scroll down this page and pressing the button each time to jump down. That's where the Roger Moore news sat yesterday, just around this kind of area of the site. So it was quite an irritating experience to get to that news when usually I would normally just be able to write it into the Google Assistant bar or the Google Now bar and just be able to find this top news story right away. So the other thing I need to note is that I was in a hotel last night on my uh, just before I came back from Berlin and it was quite an issue because I couldn't get on the Wi-Fi and the bad news is I did have to switch back to my smartphone just very briefly yesterday in order to check my email. I tried to check my email on my phone and I was in quite an urgent rush to be able to get onto it and actually be able to reply but it was just such a slow experience and to be honest I'm getting quite used to using this keyboard again so I'm not that particularly slow with using it. Maybe use it being one-handed and using the phone will be a little bit slow but there we, there we go. So I can control the cursor a little bit there if you can see. It's just not an enjoyable experience to uh, to be able to navigate around and compared to when I'm using a smartphone, I found this particularly irritating. One other thing that's happened in the last day is I found out that my Nokia 3310 won't work with my three SIM card when I'm in the UK. It seems to only be EE and Vodafone that you can use the Nokia 3310 with, so I've had to hunt around for another SIM card. It also means anyone who wants to contact me through my normal number won't be able to do that this week. Hey guys, it's quite late at night. Um, it's nearing 11 o'clock in London. It does mean I have good signal. So I'm gonna try and use the Nokia 3310 right now to find an app to get me home. We're gonna head down here into the mobile store and take a look. 
this is going to take a little while there we go and we are now into the app store which is full of games it's a lot of games actually to be honest um, you're not going to find that many apps here so uh, that took about uh, 10 seconds or so to load up um, the fat city map is still there in search and we're going you might also like suggest to me I'm not gonna have an option here now you would think that the uh, store would be able to see city mapper and even if it doesn't include city mapper app get some good suggestions for it but I'm actually just getting I'm getting games there. Let's just try a more generic search, such as maps. So as you can see at the top, it does say Java games and apps. You're gonna just see the A of the apps, but I promise you that is suggesting apps are available, but all we're really getting here are games, which is a bit of a letdown when I need to get home at this time of night. I'm gonna just do one more check to see if I can download the wonderful Spotify. I'm still not used to this keyboard, especially when I'm using it in my left hand. Yeah, Spotify brings up ski racing again, Sudoku, and some solitaire. Not exactly what I was looking for. Let's just take a quick look under the My Apps application here. So yeah, that's a little bit irritating that I can't get any apps to get me home. Luckily, I do know where I'm going, so it's not going to cause me any major issues here. Um, in terms of Spotify, that's quite irritating that I won't be able to do that on the move either, but I do have games and apps that I'm going to be able to play on the way home to entertain myself, as well as uh, playing around with some of the other features of the phone. The one thing to note is you would just be able to get notifications, you would just be able to get uh, directions purely through the web browser which i've already shown you guys but it's not as easy as just having an app already there with your home address like city mapper just works so quickly in major cities like london it's just perfect uh, for those kind of situations so it's a bit of a shame that it's not available on nokia damn it's the nokia 3310 uh i don't know what they're giving it it's a secret so, yeah, Hey guys, uh, so I just got back from filming with the BBC for their travel show which they put out um, every month and we spent the whole time I was with them talking about travel apps and talking about apps that you can use while you're on the go and it's kind of made me realise in about an hour of filming or so that um, I'm really missing using my Android phone. We're talking about apps like Netflix, talking about apps like Lonely Planet and stuff when you're uh, when you're going away, and it just using using an Android for that amount of time actually made me realise I'm really missing out on those kind of things at the moment. Even talking about like podcasts, which is something that I'm definitely missing. Today I've been really trying to put the camera through its paces. It's a two megapixel camera on the back of the phone. There's no front-facing camera though, so selfies are a bit of an issue. There's only 16 megabytes of storage on this phone, which is not enough. Yeah, I've got about six photos on the phone and that is about it you're gonna definitely need a micro sd even if you just go out and buy an eight gigabyte one it will just get you through it booted up already already had my finger on the lens there uh, that's quite an easy thing to do considering it's just there where you kind of naturally hold the phone a little bit that is a little bit irritating and i found that a bit of a problem whenever i've booted up the camera these are the photos i've been able to take you can share these photos you can do it via bluetooth or via this option so that is a message that you can send with but again, it's not going to be able to upload to social media networks easily. A little bit bright here at the moment, you can't really see the screen all that well. Let me try again. And we don't have enough space to be able to save it, that's really irritating. There's burst mode and self time mode and those kind of options, but you're not going to get anything amazing here. So without a selfie camera, it means you're going to have to shoot it backwards. There we go. Now, if you're trying to organize a group of friends or anything to get in that photo, it's probably not gonna be particularly great. But then again, the photo actually turned out pretty okay here. Obviously, I've been using the phone for a week now, so I know quite a bit about the battery. Um, but yeah, tomorrow, let's have a look. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Hey guys, so today is battery day. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about the battery life you're gonna get from the Nokia 3310. And compared to an average smartphone, it's a lot better. I've been really, really surprised by the battery life here. Not even surprised, but just impressed by it. Um, HMD claims that you're gonna get about 31 days battery life from this phone if you leave it idle. Uh, I'm not getting that. I think I've been getting like a solid week out of the battery life of actual normal usage. If you're gonna be playing a lot of games and that kind of thing on this, the battery is gonna go down a lot quicker. So it's not as incredible as it sounds, but it's a lot better than your average smartphone. Um, I charged up the phone last night and it's almost almost 18 hours later and I've probably lost, I'd say it's about a fifth or so of the battery. Um, that's with 
moderate use, um, the odd phone call and that kind of thing. If you're looking for great battery life on your phone, the 3310 will be able to offer you that, especially compared to your average smartphone, which is going to last a day or so. But yeah, from a single charge, you're getting multiple days, and that is something you're not really going to get much of in 2017. So the real reason the Nokia 3310 sticks in everyone's minds is down to snakes, but it's not exactly how you remember it. But there are also other apps and games that you can play. You can also watch video on the Nokia 3310, and you can also listen to music. There's a headphone jack just there. Yeah, so you can use wired headsets with that. Um, there's also Bluetooth, so you can use wireless headsets if you need to as well. But again, if you want to put music or video on this, or even any other games apart from Snake, you're going to need that extra storage of a micro SD card. So to entertain yourself on the Nokia 3310, you do have, if you just go down there, there's a music app. Not found that particularly useful. Um, I've really missed podcasts while listen, uh, while I'm with the Nokia 3310 because I haven't uploaded any tracks. So here we have a trial version of Asphalt 6. Yeah. Not exactly the asphalt we're used to playing. This is quite difficult to play and film. But yeah, you get the gist. So, right, let's go to the big boy. You can play the game by using these buttons along the bottom. And it's essentially just collect up the fruit. This is quite difficult to play as well. There we go. And you gently get longer and longer the more fruit you eat. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate on actually getting the fruit um, but it is probably the number way, one way to entertain yourself when using the Nokia 3310 there we go victory so yeah in terms of other entertainment I've kind of struggled to entertain myself with the Nokia 3310 yeah it's just a little bit disappointing when it comes to media um, you're not going to get anything of a modern smartphone with this it's good though that you have a headphone jack and you can listen to music if you want to but again it's going to have to it means you have to buy a micro SD which if you don't want to spend that extra money on it is a bit of a disappointment I'm quite looking forward to switching back to a smartphone to be honest. So it's the end of my final day using the Nokia 3310 and in all honesty I'm quite looking forward to switching back to my smartphone. just want to mop up a few things about this phone. Um, typing out on this is going to take you a long time. You're switching back to a much slower method of typing and navigation around the phone is quite difficult with uh, with these keys as well. Not particularly that useful, especially if you're switching from a smartphone. Um, I've all, multiple times I've been trying to switch over and uh, using it as a touchscreen, but it's not a touchscreen device. So in the UK, you're spending about 50 pounds on this device. Uh, we don't have any US manufacturers confirmed at the moment, um, but we're expecting it to come in at around $60 or maybe even $50 as well. It's expensive. It's expensive for a feature phone. You can get some modern smartphones for that amount of money. Not good smartphones, but you can get some smartphones for 50 pounds you can get a lot of good feature phones for 50 pounds even phones made by Nokia so uh, such things as the I think it's the Nokia 126 which is about which is about 20 pounds and you just put a bit of credit on that and you've got a feature phone there and waiting and people have genuinely stopped and gone hmm that's quite interesting like I can I can see the Nokia 3310 here I'm planning to buy one myself for when I go to festivals um, and when I go to other events where I want a phone with much better battery life um, if that's what you're looking for, this will suit you, but you're going to be spending a little bit more money than on a feature phone. You're going to miss a lot of those smartphone apps that you're used to. I've really missed WhatsApp, I've really missed those kind of apps. So yeah, um, it's time to switch back and as I've already said, I'm quite looking forward to it. Thanks guys. So one quick note we need to make is about the apps. When we were using the Nokia 3310, there weren't any apps available at all. We couldn't get any apps through the uh, mobile store on the Nokia 3310. But HMD has claimed that they are gonna release both Facebook and Twitter at some point in the future. We don't know what the release date is for either of those apps, but they will be available on the store at some point in the future. We don't know when though. So I've now switched back to a smartphone. I'm using the OnePlus 3T again and being able to watch a YouTube video on the fly or just check my WhatsApp messages again has been an absolute relief. Uh, I've really enjoyed switching back to a smartphone more than, more than I enjoyed switching back to a feature phone. Some people may quite like that feeling. If you don't have to check your social media when you're, when you're on the go, you can just instead text your friends and that's all you need to use this for. That's not exactly what I want though. I do want a smartphone and I wouldn't be able to survive day to day on a Nokia 3310. So around me right now you're going to see links for other week with videos i'd really recommend them we go really in depth with loads of different types of tech let us know in the comments below exactly what you think of our nokia 3310 week with are you planning to buy this phone we'd really want to know 
Thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you again soon.